Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Widgets and Wonders. This is my fairly regular, irregular monthly show um, where I look at great products from small companies. Now today we're gonna take a look at a scenery project from a company called Space Rocks. Um, and what Space Rocks is, it is spaceship terrain. So um, terrain designed and cast in resin for use in spaceship games. So things like X-Wing, Star Wars Armada, Battlefleet Gothic. If you wanna sort of spice up with some 3D terrain that floats at the same level as your ships, um, your gaming tables, you can take a look at this. So let's have a look at this Space Rock stuff. Um, the stuff that you'll be seeing today is primarily scaled for Star Wars Armada, but can just as easily be used as well for Battlefleet Gothic, which is what I'll be using it for in the near future with Owen actually, um, or even X-Wing for some of the other bits. So let's have a look at it right now. So here it is, trained from Space Rocks. You can see right here there's their contact email and their Facebook and Twitter accounts. Um, so the Space Rocks train is all cast in resin. It comes pre-painted, so all this dry brushing was done by then, uh, and on some acrylic stands. So this is all cut acrylic with acrylic uh, flying stands. Now I haven't attached any of it so I can actually disassemble it. Uh, you could just glue it all if you have sort of a static place to put it in. And there are some different types of terrain. There's asteroids. Um, there are some wrecked spaceships here. So we've got like a wrecked Corvette. Um, a wrecked assault frigate and a looks like a wrecked nebulon and a gladiator and then there's a wrecked assault frigate right here with some bits of uh, victory 2 uh, some victory 2 all blown up and a space station so cool 3d space station um, there's a, just a cardboard template in the armada game for it uh, but yeah no these are all cast in resin and it looks like uh, dry brushed or maybe airbrushed uh, for some detail spray canned even over the black just to give it some sort of 3dness but it came just like this out of the box. Um, it's pretty much to scale, uh, but let's take a look at it with some ships. So here you can see it with some ships. Here's the Armada ships. We've got a Nebulon sort of in scale with it all and the Corvette. Um, so you can see it's not super intrusive into the game. It's fairly low profile for the Armada stuff. Um, for Gothic, because Gothic ships tend to sit a little bit lower, you can see they kind of skim around it, but yeah, it looks cool. Uh, the, my sort of um, escort here on the lower stand and the capital ships on the higher stands is zipping between some asteroids. Um, I do like that the flying stands and stuff are all clear. So for the terrain, it means that you're not really creating a silhouette that blocks the table. Like you can actually see the table through the clear acrylic, which is pretty handy. Um, I did use some white tack to stick some of these things to the bases because obviously if you're not gonna glue them so you can take them apart, they may fly around if you bump them or move them and stuff. Um, so I would recommend just grab some poster tack. I just use this white stuff. It's by Yuhu, um, and I stick a little glob of it in there to keep them on. Um, that's only if you're not gonna glue them and just make them permanently attached. So there it is. I hope you enjoyed this little scale shot. Uh, here's the close-up of the space station. It's pretty neat. If you look at it top down, it pretty much looks like the template um, that comes in the game, the cardboard one. But there is Space Rocks terrain. And once again, here's the contact info to do. Hello at spacerocks.co.uk, so if you're interested in it, um, you can also follow them on Facebook and Twitter. 